Hey everyone, I hope you are safe and doing good. So, in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing, we have discussed actually break and continue statement. In the previous video, we have seen continue statement. Now, based on those statements, we will be discussing one coding exercise, right? In, the, in this, you have to use both break and continue statement together, right? So, the problem statement is, suppose we have some data in an array. Array is simply like its collection of homogeneous data type. Right. So we have an integer array and this is the data of this array. Right. It is being sent by some device. Let's assume. Right. And that device also sends sometimes noise. The noise is represented by minus one. Right. And one stopping signal. Stopping signal is represented by minus 99. Right. Now what you have to do? You have to process that data. Process means you have to print this data. Right. But you don't have to process noise means you don't you don't have to print noise means minus one right and you have to stop processing the data once you reach once you get the stopping signal and that is minus 99 i hope you got what is the problem statement right you have to just print this array but you don't have to print minus one minus one and you have to stop whenever you will get minus 99 so ultimately the answer would be 1, 10, 5, 6, 7, that's it. You have to print this thing. And one more condition, use range based for loop. Although you can implement this with any loop, for while, do while, but you can try implementing this with different, different loops, but we are going to discuss in this exercise using range based for loop, right? I hope you got this thing. So pause the video and try this out. Okay, so I hope you have done this. We have this array of data right so we have to process this thing using range based for loop so range based for loop syntax is just use for and the data type which is of this data so better to use auto because it will automatically detect the data type of the, this range and automatically you know consider the data type of let's take any variable any variable xyz abc anything i'm taking n right and then colon so the data type of this variable would be automatically int right because whatever here that range or that collection you will write name of that thing so name of the array is data so let data here so whatever the data type of this data this array automatically that data type would be of this n so it is int n see whenever you will drag the cursor move the cursor over n it is showing you int n but i am writing auto n right so now you have to implement the logic first let's uh, just write down the stopping condition if this n equal to equal to minus 99 then break means you don't have to process after that so we'll use obviously to jump out of the loop use break now next is else if this n equal to equal to minus 1 then you don't have to stop you just have to skip that iteration means you don't want to print this minus 1 but after that you want to print 5 6 right so we'll use continue we are going to skip something some condition right and after that what you want to skip this printing processing processing means simply we want to print this n right so I think this is simple one. We have used break, continue and range based for loop. Let's run this. I hope it will work. See 1, 10, 5, 6, 7. And that's exactly what we want. It should be printed like this. 1, 10, 5, 6, 7. No minus 1. And once it reach to minus 99, just stop printing or stop processing the data. Right. Now I hope you have now a clear idea of using break, continue and this kind of thing right so that's it for this video so i hope this exercise was not tough for you guys and you have done this now in the next video we'll see what is infinite loop so now i'll see you in the next video bye take care